Hi guys, James here from Wiggle, and today we're going to be having a look at one of Garmin's new smartwatch releases, the Phoenix 6S Pro Solar. We're going to have a dive into some of the product highlights and the new features on it. So Garmin, obviously known for making fantastic GPS equipment and some really smashing smartwatches as well. So here we have one of the Phoenix range, the 6S Pro Solar, which is one of their flagship watches. So top tier stuff here. So let's start with a quick unboxing. So obviously it comes with the main watch unit inside the box. It comes with some small, but some really hefty little guides here. So if you're a guide reader, there's plenty for you to catch up on in there. It also comes with your classic Garmin charger, which is great. So if you and your family and friends are already invested in Garmin, then you can continue to share chargers. So Garmin have created this incredible power glass technology, which used to only be featured in their really top end uh, Phoenix 6X range. But now this technology has trickled down to the 6S range. So basically what this power glass technology is, is the whole face of the screen actually acts as a solar panel. So whenever the face of the watch is outside in the sun, it's actually going to be charging up the internal battery of the watch, which is incredible. The correct terminology for this is actually a photovoltaic display. And there's actually two different levels of this in the watch face. So you've actually got a very small millimeter area around the edge of the display there, which is 100% photovoltaic, which means it's transferring 100% of the sun's energy into battery into the watch. And then under the digital display on the watch face there, the, the larger area in the middle, is a 10% voltaic screen, which means it converts 10% of the sun's energy into battery in the watch. So if you're someone that spends quite a lot of time outdoors, this is actually gonna make a really significant difference to the battery life in the watch, which is a really nice feature. So Garmin being Garmin, you get to see all the nitty gritty facts and figures. So depending on what watch face you choose, as there's quite a few to choose from and download, but um, generally you get the solar intensity graph just at the bottom of the face here which gives you an idea of how much sunlight is actually hitting the face of the screen and being charged into battery and then if you want to see that graph slightly bigger with a little bit more accuracy you can just scroll down here go into solar intensity and it shows you the activity in the last six hours and the intensity that the watch has been charging as well as that you can also log on to gum connect and look at all the facts and figures on your phone screen as well so you can actually see the current solar intensity. So when this little sundial here has got the full 10 rings around it, it shows that it's charging at 100%. And these incremental stages go down basically until the watch face isn't charging at all anymore. But it's a really nice touch to see how our watch is charging. If you think this sounds kind of fragile and you're worried that you might break the solar screen there, then don't be because it's covered by a thick Gorilla Glass screen, which is super impact resistant and also very scratch resistant too. So without the benefit of the actual solar charging, the battery in the watch is also fantastic as standard. So in smartwatch mode, the watch actually lasts nine days for full battery and then with an average of about three hours of British sunlight, should we say, on the screen every day, that's gonna go up to 10.5 days of use without having to charge it. So that's pretty decent for such a feature heavy watch. So in the same sort of scenario, the watch is gonna last in GPS full tracking mode for 25 hours and then up to 28 hours with these solar capabilities as well. So again, that's gonna be more than suitable for what most of us need in our day-to-day -day lives. Garmin have listened to a lot of feedback to what their customers were saying, and now they've introduced power management to the watch, which is a really fantastic touch for saving battery where you need to. So to get to this function, you hold down the menu button, scroll all the way down, and there is quite a few options on this watch, which is good in its own way all the way down to power manager. So the first option you get is the battery saver mode here. And as you can see, that basically puts the watch into lockdown mode, which we're all used to. So that's gonna turn all the main features of the watch off, but give you a really, really significantly boosted battery life here. So you can quite quickly see how much battery that saves, although you can actually go down into the edit section here and change all the different settings to your need. So it will actually display how much battery you're saving when you fiddle with these settings here, which is really nice. So they say that in this mode, which basically just turns it back into a normal functioning watch, 
you can get 48 days worth of battery out of it, but actually with the solar charging function as well, you can get up to 80 days. But it must be said that is just basically turning it into a normal watch. Then if you just go back a screen and then go to power modes, this is still keeping a lot of the functionality that you'd want to keep when in an activity. So you've got the max battery mode, which does still turn off quite a lot of the functionality, like, like the heart rate sensor, phone connectivity and music and stuff like this, but it does keep a low level GPS connection, which is really handy. So you get ultra track and you can have the breadcrumbs back. So if you're on an adventure, for example, you can still retrace your footsteps if you need to. Another one of the preset profiles that comes in the watch is jacket mode. And that's quite simply if you're wearing, for example, a waterproof jacket and you're wearing the watch on the outside, the heart rate monitor is not going to be going off burning battery because the watch won't be able to read your heart rate through the waterproof jacket. So it's just another battery saving technique there, which is really handy. And then the most exciting part of it is you get to create your own custom profile. So I've created one here and this basically lets you fine tune everything in the watch. So for different activities and different scenarios that you're in, you can create a different profile for. So I've just created one here to show you what's available. So you can change the GPS settings, the music settings, the connectivity to your phone, the heart rate monitor, the regularity of the pulse ox sensor, which we'll go into later, the maps, the display, the backlight, and accessories connected with the device. So all in all, some really nice functionality, especially for people that are gonna be spending a long time away from a charging point. Another really nice feature is the new expedition feature, which is clearly for those of you that are going on expeditions. And what that does is that, that really turns off all the unnecessary features of the watch and gives you that kind of ultra track, one hour based GPS tracking, which is perfect for those really long multi-day activities. So this mode is actually advertised as working for 28 days without sun. And then if you have that kind of average three hours of sunlight on the watch screen every day, then you can go up to 36 days with this expedition mode on, which is pretty impressive. So the Phoenix Success actually brings in some grit and flow mountain bike metrics, which is really nice. And basically what that is, is the grit level is the kind of intensity of the mountain bike cycle that you're doing. So the elevation and how aggressive the ride is and the flow rating basically is how flowy you can make the descent. So these metrics can be measured on the course that you're on, which gives you something else to compare yourself ride to ride, which is a really nice touch. So these metrics automatically just come up now when you're in the mountain biking profile on the watch. So as well as those mountain bike dynamics, it also comes with a course navigation system. So you can upload courses to the watch via Garmin Connect, and that's actually gonna give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So that makes the watch a really good choice for those of us that don't want to buy a additional bike computer as well. Just a small note on this, you could actually take the watch off your wrist and actually attach it to your handlebar. And the benefit of this would be that it would act much more like a cycling computer and you could keep two hands firmly on the bars at all time and still see the navigation in front of you rather than having to lift your wrist up and check where you're going. But obviously the bad side to this is that you're not gonna get any heart rate data when doing this. As well as the navigation, the watch is also fully able to sync up to all your bike sensors. So your cadence, your speed and your power sensor can all sync directly up to the watch itself. So if you're a big Strava user, you can actually download the Strava widget which lets you have all the, the Strava data screens on there, like live sections, so you don't feel like you're getting left out by using a watch rather than a cycle computer. Another really nice feature for cyclists is it has Climb Pro built into the watch. So, and basically what that's gonna do, it's gonna tell you the grade, the distance, and the elevation difference on all of the climbs ahead. So you can prepare yourself for what's coming. So one of the things I really like about the 6S is the fact that it doesn't look quite so utilitarian as some of the other models in the 6 range. So the 6S comes with a slightly smaller 42 millimeter screen, but it doesn't come with that big steel bezel edge, which makes it look far more like a normal watch. And as well as that, the lug size from here to here is actually quite a lot smaller. So if you are someone with smaller wrists, then this is probably gonna fit your wrist much better than some of the bigger models as well. As well as that, it comes with a whole array of different color and material straps that you can get from Garmin and they're really easy to switch. They come with just this quick clip system here. As easy as that, so it takes just a couple of seconds to change them over. So you can actually change from like a nylon sports strap to something like a leather strap for day-to-day -day use, which is a really nice touch. So in the new Phoenix range, Garmin used their Elevate heart rate monitor, which is their top end heart rate monitor that comes in all of their better watches in 2019 and 2020. 
and this is an incredible heart rate sensor so it's also very power efficient which is why the watches have such good battery life but as well as that it gives you really accurate measurements as well as the pulse ox reading which is a really nice touch but it must be said if you have that pulse ox reading on as a as an all-day measurement as well as during your sleep it does really significantly burn the battery so just be careful of that if that's the setting that you have on and another really nice feature is that it's actually able to read your heart rate underwater and this is actually rated by Garmin as an ATM5 rating which basically means it is a hundred meters waterproof so you can wear it in basically any situation minus maybe a bit of scuba diving depending how deep you're going but yeah a really nice feature there just one small fun feature of the watch that i've actually used a few times that i find really helpful is if you just hold down the top button here you can scroll up a couple to find my phone and basically as long as you've got garmin connect set up with the watch here you can just click find my phone and it actually makes your phone buzz, light up and ring so you can find it really easily and quickly, which is a really nice touch. So the watch actually monitors you whilst you're sleeping as well. So what it's gonna do, it's actually gonna break down the sleep you have into the different zone categories and break down how good your sleep actually was as well as how long you actually slept for. So it gives you a really good metric as to how good your sleep quality actually is, which again can be quite surprising for some of us. A small feature that's not new to Garmin, but a feature that I really like, and I think it's worth mentioning, is you can actually download 2,000 ski maps to the watch, which gives you the ability to actually look at the ski resort and where you are in the resort, as well as to look at what grade run you're on. So it can help you get back to that last lift to the chalet, which could be an absolute lifesaver. So for you golfers out there, there's a similar function for golf courses. So there's actually 41,000 golf courses that you can have downloaded onto the screen here and basically that's going to give you a image of the hole in front of you and the elevation difference between it how it's going to play and the par of it which is again just a really nice feature if you're a keen golfer so one thing that's really nice is garmin have introduced widget glances and basically what this means is you can scroll through a list of widgets rather than have a widget per page that you've got to scroll through which makes it a quicker ordeal to get to where you want to get to and as well as that, you can still click on the widget itself to go to the full screen mode, so there's nothing lost there either. So a really small but nice touch there from Garmin. So all in all, some really nice feature upgrades in the Phoenix 6S Pro Solar. Do you think it's worth the upgrade from your current smartwatch? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.